All right. We are going to do a how to adjust your image. Um, I'm going to show you some tips that we haven't necessarily been using as we've been turning in assignments. These are more photo manipulations. We're going to take two photos and turn them into these three different things. So um, in this lesson, we're going to learn um, how to adjust the transparency of images, uh, do a line art search, crop and resize image. This should be a review recolor image and group and order of images. So there's a lot, but it all goes together, okay? So in this first one, we're gonna select the line art of the roads, all right? We're gonna change the transparency. So up here under format options, I can come over here to adjustments. There I have transparency and I can pull it up let's do about 50% around in that. Okay, so that means I'm it's saying 50% of the ink is used. I want to put it on top of here, but if I put it over here, it is going to be behind. Um, the way you go about fixing that is you come up here to arrange. I want the order of it. I want it to be in the front. So I'm going to click that and it is now on top. So I'm going to adjust that just a little bit. And boom, I kind of like that. So I want these two to stay together. So I'm going to click my back one, which is in this case, my photo. And I'm going to hold my shift key down. And I am also going to click the rose art. And you can see that that box is selected also. Again, I'm going to come up to arrange and I'm going to hit group. That, you see how it went away? That allows me to treat them as one unit that if I move it around, they're going to be together because I want that rose right there no matter what. If I don't, then I don't want to group them. But if I want these two connected, I'm going to group them. So you're going to do this and leave it here on this page. We have another page where we're going to do the next one. So in this case, I want you to select the photo of the rose. Again, we're going to come over here. If it didn't come up, just so you know, you would look up here for Format Options, Adjustments, and Transparency. Again, this one I might want to go a little bit higher. You can see if I kind of, there's like a little percentage, about 60%. That's cool. I want to bring my rows over. Oh, it is on top. Good. And so I want to kind of move that around. I want it kind of to be about right there. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go out of order here. I'm going to go ahead and crop it. I'm going to double click. I'm going to take that black handle and just pull it up. That black handle is the image box. So all I did is just pull it up. All right. So now let's talk about recoloring these. So let's select the photo. And again, under Format Options, if it's not there, it would be right up here. I'm going to hit Recolor. And I kind of like the blue one. Some of these don't turn out that great. That one looks pretty neat. Mm. But I'm going to go with that one. So I've recolored it. That means I might want to tweak my adjustments a little bit. Maybe just a smidge. And now I want to recolor this rose. So I'm going to click it, go to recolor, and I also want it to be that bright. Now, if you noticed in format options, what can I also do? I can add a drop shadow. Let's just throw everything at it. Again, when I do drop shadows, oops, when I do drop shadows, I like to put that angle way out there so I can see where it is, especially the small and make that distance happen. Um, I kind of like that. Um, if I wanted to, I could do a deep dark blue that would kind of go with that. I actually did like the black on that one. Let's try a dark purple. Ooh, I actually like that. We'll leave it at that. Um, it does go outside the image zone and we're just going to have to deal with that. There is no way to get rid of that other than changing um, the distance. If I want to move it closer, that will come up 
out of there, but that is fine. I want to recrop this back image. So I'm going to double click. Again, a recrop is the black bars because it's just changing the shape of my um, image square. If I wanted to change the shape of my rows, I can use the blue handles. Maybe I want it to be bigger. Um, here I'm using my arrow keys because I think it's a little bit more precise. Boom. All right. Um, I want these two to stay together, so I'm going to select them both. What I did there is just a big drag around both of them. And I'm going to come over to arrange, and I'm going to hit group. One more thing before we go is we are using photo and line art. So the way I went about doing that is I went to insert image from web and I search for rows. Scrolled through and I found the image I like. It's down here somewhere right there. Then I went up there and I hit line, oops, not lend, line art. So line art's going to give you literally the line of the art. So I again went through and searched for one that I liked, um, one that I like the ones that have a little bit more detail in them. That would be cool to do. Um, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in here. Um, I was playing around with it for a while. But line art will um, give you a black and white line drawing usually. Now, um, sometimes it does give you a flat color. And I do want to point out that not everything not everything is going to be able to be recolored. Sometimes you come up here and it's all the same image. This is just depends on how it's formatted. Ooh, that one looks nice. Um, that one, it just depends on how it's formatted. Um, so if it doesn't give you that option for line art, then you can't do it. Um, if you want the background out, you know how to remove the background. And there you go. It was a lot, but hopefully you'll practice it. So on this page, I want you to leave your adjusted image right there. Thank you.